This is a quick guide to the new method of downpatching through Steam, um, which was developed because the old method through the Steam console no longer works on newer versions of the Steam client. Um, so here is a uh, pinned message in the Hollow Knight Discord uh, describing how this process works. And uh, I will leave a link to the Discord in the description as well as all the relevant links on the pinned message if you prefer to use the video description for that purpose. So step one is to uh, download and install .NET Core. So visit this first link here and probably install the most recent version. And this has installers for various operating systems. I am on 64-bit Windows, so I will get that particular installer. And while this is downloading, I will move on to step two, downloading Depot Downloader. So that's the second link here. And again, you want the most recent version. This is just about finished. So I will just install .NET Core. Sure, OK. And now, again, you want the most recent version. And make sure you are downloading this .zip and not these two, which are uncompiled source code. So there we go. This should show up in your downloads and just unzip that file in whatever method you prefer. And that will have a folder with all of these files inside it. And now .NET Core should be about done installing. There we go. Now we're on to step three. Open the folder containing depotdownloader.dll, which is this folder right here, which was just unzipped and then type command.exe. Now, here's the address bar. You can type command.exe or just cmd, and then press enter to open up the command prompt in that folder. All right, and now is probably the most difficult or tricky uh, step is in inputting the correct command. So this is the format of the command for Hollow Knight. Uh, so the application, the game, and the depot are the same for all patches. However, the manifest number will change, and that is listed in this link, this speedrun.com guide, which lists all of the manifest numbers for the different patches, which are these uh, longest string of numbers at the end here. These are the manifests. And so you will need to get that number for whatever patch you want to, to uh, install. So I'm going to copy this first part of the command all the way up to where the manifest number is inputted and just put that in the command prompt. And just as an example, I am going to down patch to 1.2.1.0 here. So I will copy that manifest number. And then after that, you have the username and password for your Steam account. So I will input those um, and also blow them out in post. Now this next part may not apply to you if you do not have Steam Guard or Steam Authenticator, um, but I do, so I'm going to quickly open that up and authenticate my login. There we go. And after you're done inputting the command and maybe inputting the Steam Guard code, if you have that enabled, it will begin downloading the older patch, as you can see. Now, progress with this download is pretty slow. It generally takes uh, around 15 minutes or longer, depending on your internet connection. Um, so I'm just going to cut away and come back when the download is done, and we will finish up from there. All right, so now all of the files have been downloaded and they will appear inside this depot downloader folder right here. And as you can see, these are the game files. Now only these two are necessary. Uh, this is irrelevant for uh, our purposes. So I will copy these two, 
this uh, Hollow Knight data and Hollow Knight executable. And I'm just going to demonstrate one method to uh, actually be able to play the down patch version. So first I'm going to make a folder, name it whatever you want, and then I'm down patching to 1.2.1.0, so I'll just name it that. It doesn't really matter what you call these folders, um, just as long as you can recognize what they are. Obviously the patch number would be a good choice. So now I'm just going to copy the Hollow Knight data uh, folder and the uh, application over into this folder. And while that's copying, I am going to make a new text document and call it steam underscore app ID. Now the dot text is the file extension because I have view file name extensions enabled. If you don't have that enabled, dot text will not be there. Uh, it's not part of the file name, so don't put that there. And in this text document, you want to type 367520, save it, and close it. And at this point, you should be able to double click on the exe, and that should launch the game, down patched. Now I went down to version 1210, so that should be on the menu and demonstrate that the process worked as soon as it pops up here. And there we go, in the corner it says 1210, so it is indeed working. And of course, uh, once you're done with this whole procedure and it runs as expected, you can go into Steam and add this as a non-Steam game and just have it in your library if you want. Um, but this is all you really need to do to get it up and running.